What's up, guys? Welcome to episode number 34. We're continuing with the boring agility. Uh, should be done with it pretty soon. I just went and bought some more nature runes so I could continue doing this. Uh, as it stands, we are 67k away from the agility level and 105k away from a magic level, so it's going to be a while. I think I'll be able to collect Kingdom in about 6 or 7 hours because I finished the quest pretty late. I kind of messed up on that one. I should have finished it during the day. But I'll be back once I hit my first agility level. First level of the video, I am also 44k away from getting to 76 magic, so that should come up pretty soon as well. I honestly have no idea how I'm going to work this video out when I start doing crafting, because I'm going to be sitting in one spot for like 12 hours straight. So I might take a break between crafting to hop through other skills just to make the video a little bit more interesting. But we should be done with this boring grind soon. I know some of you guys probably hate watching me do agility. I hate doing agility as well, so I'm trying to get this done as fast as possible. Next Alk will get me to 76. One more level left that we can go and start doing crafting. The only sad part about this is I have 700 Alks left right now, and if I even collect Kingdom for like 800 more, I still don't know if that's going to be enough to get me to 77. So I'm going to do all that, and if I run out, actually I'll probably run out of Alks before um, I get collected Kingdom. So I'll try to do crafting with a Mind Bomb for the boost, but since I'm going to be doing it differently, I really don't know if it's going to work. If it works, I can just keep doing it, but if it doesn't, then I'll probably try to figure something else out to do while I wait for the uh, Kingdom to get collected. Another agility level. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last one I'm going to get doing this. I actually ran out of Elks, guys. I have like 70-something or 60 Yu Longbows left. I'm out of Maples and everything. And even with the 800 I'd get today from Kingdom, I still wouldn't have enough to get my magic to 77. So this is a really random cut between that last clip and a really random place to be. Um, I had a whole thing where I was talking about how I'm going to go and do mining while I'm waiting for the uh, Maples to come in from Kingdom. I went over to Granite, started mining. Um, I got a little bit more than this. I was timing how much I was actually getting. Then I remembered I needed Varrock Armor at a chance of getting double granite when mining. And then I went to use the Humidify spell to fill up my water skins. And I got this message. You need a complete Dream Mentor. I completely forgot about that as well. So this whole plan went out the window. I was going to mine to like 70 or something. Realizing I'm pretty far away from that, I think what I'm gonna, just going to do is go buy some gold ore. I'll calculate how much of the maples are going to get me in Elks from Kingdom today when I collect it in probably about an hour and just do the rest of the magic XP through superheating. That way I can just start doing crafting and worry about all the quests and stuff I need later to do granite. So buying all of the gold ore from Blast Furnace cost me probably about 130k, so it wasn't too bad. I actually bought maybe like 40 more gold ore that I actually didn't need for magic just to get a smithing level, which I'm getting very close to right now. So kind of a random level, but there's 64 smithing. I don't really think, and yeah, nothing's really unlocked from that. I actually went and collected Kingdom as well, and I got all the maples I need, so I've already made 784 more longbows. Um, with all these maples, all these longbows, and all of these U's, I'll be able to get to 77. So I'm going to head back to doing agility and alking, and I'll be back once I hit 77 and we can finally start doing crafting. So here we are, guys. Like, 15 plus hours, I'd say, to get to this level, but we're finally about to get to 77. We can finally go and train crafting now. It's been a long-ass grind. I'll see you guys over at Charter Ships. I've actually never done this before. I just saw Lowlander doing it, so I figured I'd try it. Um, I don't know if I'll get, like, the 70k I'm supposed to be getting at the start. I'll probably get, like, 50k or something until I really figure out how to do it. But I'll see you guys over there. So here we are, guys. I'm doing this at Port Serum because, if you guys didn't know, they separated the Charter Ships. So the stock is different on every single ship. And most people wouldn't come here to bank them if they're doing it. So these will probably be full all the time for the method I'm doing. So I've actually just tested this to make sure it works, and it does, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm going to do. So I'll hop worlds, buy all this. Obviously, you can use the seaweed since I'm using a spell. Uh, buy what you need, use the super glass to make spell. And then what I'm actually going to be doing is making lantern lenses. Uh, the reason I'm doing lantern lenses is they are more XP than unpowered orbs, and I'm not banking the unpowered orbs anyway. So basically what I do is once I get my inventory full of lantern lenses, all I have to do is trade them and resell the lantern lenses and then I can just keep buying these and hopping worlds and this should be around 70k XP per hour so I'm gonna go ahead and do this now I don't know what level I'll get to this video I probably have about three hours before I need to upload this one so we'll see where I get I'm gonna do this for an hour I'll probably get a few levels uh, during that time but I want to do it for an hour to show you guys how much XP I actually get for a test run so see you guys back in an hour so there is the end of the hour we got 68,500 XP also got up to 63 crafting so this is around the amount of uh, XP per hour I thought it was. It's pretty good. Um, I kind of changed my method around a little bit, but 
Um, I have probably about another hour and a half to do this before I need to upload, so we'll see what crafting level I get to. Um, getting really close to 1600 total. I don't know if I'll get it this video. I might try to. I'm also 14k away from a fletching level, which I'll probably get later today. So I really wasn't expecting to do an update like this, but there's 64 crafting. I was going to do 1600 total and upload this video, but then my chat basically told me, don't do what you did with Dorg Chest. Get the level you want first and then upload this video, because um, if you upload this and people are still trying to do this, then obviously... It's going to be ruined because there's going to be so many people doing it. So I'm going to follow what they said and just do this to 75. Um, it's like 12 hours, 13 hours, I think, to get there. So I can get it tomorrow pretty easily. So the goal by the end of this video now is going to be 75 crafting. It'll probably be a pretty long video. I'll do the next update once I hit 1600 total. So two more crafting levels. Back with another update about to hit 66 crafting and 1600 total along with it. So there it is, 1600 total. Nine more levels to go until we can get back to doing some Slayer. Uh, that's obviously if the servers aren't as bad as they've been recently. I don't know how I'm going to do updates with this. Um, I might just come back once I hit 70 and then do another update at 75 because it's going to get really repetitive really quickly. So I think I'll see you guys again at 70. About to get to 70, I actually had to switch charger ships because there's people at the other one actually hopping. I think one of them was an ultimate and one was a hardcore, but supplies are running out. So I just hopped to Brimhaven to finish this, but there's 70. Let's see if we unlocked diamond amulets. Not really that big a deal. Five more levels, and we can get Slayer Rings and then boost to Glories. I was thinking about going for a Fury, but I honestly don't know if I'm going to do that yet because it would take a pretty long time. I think it would take four days of playing a lot. I might do it, but I'm not too sure yet. I'm going to do one more update once I hit 75, go and make the Slayer Rings, and then go for the boost for the Glory. So the grind is finally coming to an end. This was definitely one hell of a grind. It took probably about 13 hours. Um, it actually wasn't that bad. I mean, it was a long grind, but I actually didn't mind it because it's pretty AFK doing all of this. There is 75 guys can make Slayer Rings now and boost for a glory. I'm probably going to go and make, I'd say, all the Slayer Rings I need. I think I have a decent amount of gold bars. I might make like 200 Slayer Rings about. Um, I'm not actually going to be boosting for the glory in this video because I forgot to grow my cat when I was doing agility. So I still have a kitten. Um, I'm probably going to be going and growing my cat while I cut oaks because I do want to try to get a gilded altar. This is going to make our lives so much easier. I don't have to run around everywhere all the time. I think before to get to Neve, I was actually teleporting to the Dole Arena, taking the flyer, and then running all the way down there, so it was pretty bad. I'll make more of these. I just wanted to show you guys uh, myself making them really quick. I'm actually going to get a quick fletching level. I'm 14k away. There's really only one reason I'm getting this fletching level, and that's because I want to pass a friend. So <laughs> I'm going to do that really quick and then probably end the video. So there is my quick pass a friend level. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. You guys will see my uh, ranks before the video and after the video. Just remember that this has been two days now. Actually, it's been, I think, a day and a half total. But we're up to rank 19 now, still going up the top page. I don't really have any goals for next video. I don't think I'm going to upload tomorrow as well, guys, because tomorrow is New Year's, and I don't think a lot of people are going to be on. Also, the grind I'm going to be doing, which is probably going to be going for a gilded altar, I'm going to have to woodcut all of those oaks, and that might take a whole day in its own, so... I'll be uploading on the first of the new year, so hope you guys did enjoy this video. That 75 crafting is going to come in handy a lot. Hopefully these DCs go away soon so I can get back to Slayer. If not, I'm just going to have to do other skills until the servers are more stable. But I'll see you guys in the next video on the first.